All right, welcome back to another video with Full Self Driving. We are on version 14.2.2.2. I think that's it. A lot of twos. And of course, this is Dan from Northern Tesla. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, so we did a video earlier today of my first uh, initial reactions with this new update that kind of, you know, it was a, actually from the time it went to the early testers to um, a major public rollout it was very short. It's only been a couple of days. And that seems to be what we're seeing these days with these updates is that the uh, early testers are getting it and it's quickly getting rolled out. So obviously they're not finding a lot of issues and it's safe to roll out wide. So my first video, I just did initial kind of drive. I did a quick test on Grok uh, to see if it had improved at all. Not really. You're still having issues with like, you can't really get it to like, if you want it to go a certain route, it's hard for it to get to, it'll say it's doing it, but it's not translating on the screen. So a little, some work needs to be done for that. And the other thing was that speed profiles. And obviously with speed profiles, it's like, you know, we don't know what we're expecting. So that's where we're gonna focus on the H drive because we're gonna kind of go on a major road and stick to that road and not really turn anywhere. And it's kind of like, it's a major road, so we should be able to pick up some speed. So right now we are in sloth mode. The speed limit's 50 and we're going, we just slowed down, but obviously it looks like we're going about 30 or 40. And uh, there are a few speed bumps here and there. So like I said, once we get onto the main road, we'll be able to better get a better understanding of how fast uh, sloth mode is. Now, I'm not holding my breath. I don't think there's going to be a big difference. We're not going to see a big jumps. I think what the plan is we're going to try to do is start off at sloth, go all the way up to Mad Max, and then if we have time, back down. And see if there's any noticeable differences. And uh, so right now it's speed limit's 30, we're going 30. We're gonna approaching our left turn and this is a, it's gonna be green. So speed limit's 40, we're going 36. And just kind of taking this turn really slowly. So the speed limit is gonna to jump to 60. Uh, so we're at 50 now, should read 60 now. Uh, so it didn't read 60, we just passed the 60 sign. So we're still going 50, we're going 50 into 50. So, and this is sloth mode, this should be the slowest mode ever. So we're going to go up to chill. And we've gone up to 52, 53. And really, like the car, like the Jeep ahead of us is gaining speed, so uh, we're definitely not maintaining the speed of the car in front of us. So we just jumped up to 60 kilometers as a speed limit, and we're going 55. And again, that Jeep is pulling away from us. And the reason I say that is that we're not, uh, the Jeep's not affecting our speed. So we're still up to 60. So 60 and a 60 is what we're doing. So we got a bit of an open road, so we're gonna bump it up to standard. So again, 60 in a 60, not going any faster than we were what we were doing in chill mode. So since we got some open road, let's go up to hurry. So now we're seeing a bit of speed increase. So we're going 65 into 60. Pass this green light.
and about 66, 67 or so. And we should make this light. So this car ahead of us is turning off. So 66, so let's go up to Mad Max. So again, no speed increase here. So let's go back down again. So down a hurry. Car didn't slow down at all. Still going 69 and 60. Oh. See, there I go. I accidentally turned off FSD. I hate when I do that. So down the standard. Still. And we're turning now. Uh, so the speed is definitely not affected. So as you can see, like, I don't know what these speed profiles are. They're not speed profiles. They're more driver profiles, I would assume. Uh, maybe the behavior of the driving. But, like, we need to have, if, like, obviously this does not control the speed whatsoever. We need to bring back max set speed because myself and a lot of people out there want to be able to control their speed. Uh, now, as a side here. Oh, never mind. So the navigation is supposed to take me to the left. Uh, it wasn't going to, and then I just turned my turn signal on to kind of force it to go that way. So uh, I did a video a couple of, a few days ago. Uh, it's a Tesla quick tip. Check it out. It's how to get it to park where you want. Uh, ordinarily, if you just set this destination navigation without doing a thing, it would take you to the front. And I want to park to the back where there's more parking. Uh, so I set, just look at the video, it'll have it in the corner up there. Anyways, uh, so back to our testing here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm really seeing no, there's really no difference between all the speed profiles. There, you know, from one to the next, the speed is pretty much the same. Other than from standard to hurry, we did see an increase. So other than that, though, like, I don't know. I guess if you want to go fast, stay above hurry. And if you want to stay the speed limit, go below. And I believe the behavior itself will, will change accordingly, I'm hoping. I guess more testing needs to be done on that. So we're just going to find a parking space here. I'm surprised it didn't take one of the things. So then I don't know where it's going now. Anyways, uh, as it's looking for parking or whatever it's doing, Are we looking for parking? All right, let's see if it looks for parking. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos on this FSD testing. Uh, tons of coming, especially with these new updates. As I said, they're coming fast and furious. Oh, we're going to go forward. All right, so we parked forward. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. In the meantime, drive safe and Happy New Year.